The lands of the Queen of Skulls are unhealthy for the living. Few have reached the depths of the game that you have attained. They were too weak or too inflexible, too passionate or lacking in the necessary will. You are different. Well, I think I start out with light armor again unless they upgraded me to medium, so let's see if we can finally get this on our, what, third, fourth attempt? Okay, come on. Oh wait, no, I don't have light armor, shit. Okay. I have no idea. No! God, my runs keep getting off to such amazing starts, don't they? Your medium-sized armor doesn't make the crossing easy, and the current uh, pushes you into some rocks, battering you about. Okay, yeah, so they upgraded me to medium armor. Eh, that's I'm fine. I'm sorry. Wow, that's... That's incredibly light. One food, which is a tiny amount, and lose 30% of my gold, of which I didn't even have any. Could have been worse. Let's not uh, take any risks, let's just get some supplies. After all, if I buy any item at a shop with gold, I'm gonna gain a new curse, so I'm thinking gold does not have as much value as it used to have. Or I could just ask for a blessing. No, let's get supplies. Whew. I'm sure Beautiful. you're grateful for that. That should be all I need for the entire dungeon, I think. Hmm. Six of them. Okay. So what do I start out with? I know I have a shield. Since I had one before, and I have medium armor now, what about my weapon? Is it something better? Can't exactly tell right now. How did that not hit me? I mean, I'm glad it didn't, but really looked like it would've. Gotta get out of the clouds of poison. Okay, not bad. Of course, so few trade in the land of death that deals are easy to strike. Let's take a look at what we get. Yeah, so medium armor. Start with an axe, which I think is what I started with before. Crown of Hindsight. Okay, that's new. All encounter cards are revealed upon reaching the next stairs. Hmm. Kind of interesting, I suppose. If, if you have a lot of food so you can actually go back, that could be very useful. But you're gonna have to retread a lot of your steps, most likely, so it's gonna cost a lot of food. The cities hold no darkness like that to be found in the wilderness on a still and moonless night. Well, this time I actually really can't afford the... I actually can't afford the health drop. And I have plenty of food with which to regen it. Again, the gold he's going to give me is not as useful as it might otherwise be because of the whole curse thing. But, yeah, let's do it. The stranger moves with unnatural speed to grasp you, to grasp you firmly and bite at your throat. After a few seconds, he releases you. So he's a vampire. Thank you, he says, 
and use some gold as you regain your composure. I am not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? Sure. Mortal, you seem unusually willing to give up your blood for material gain. The stranger goes on to tell you a tale of secret blood auctions and where they may be found. <laughs> blood auctions. Yeah, I'll sell two pints of my own blood. Bound once more, seeking the heart of it all. I did not create this game, you know. I have merely perfected it. You have begun to understand my innovations. Well, this is a new one. The Lizard Dome, I just added that in. Sounds cool, but it's probably going to be horrible. Let us take a token on their foolishness. One night, you are captured by lizard men and brought before their king. You are stripped of your equipment and must choose an opponent to fight in their underground arena. Cool! I can fight the Jack of Skulls or Two of Skulls. Uh... Is this reverse psychology? The Two of Skulls is obviously way easier. I'm going to assume this is some sort of a trick, so let's go with the tougher opponent. The Jack of Skulls returns to the fray. Would you expect any less? Alright, they took my equipment, so I have no shield. Ah, he's getting burned! Oh wait, he can revive the opponents. He can't- yeah, he can revive them, can't he? So I better take on the Jack of Skulls first. Did I just kill him? Get burned! Burn. 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 <laughs> the Lizard King returns and grants you a reward before returning your equipment. Four game cards. Four game cards for that? That's amazing. That was so easy. More gold for you, and with it, more problems. Back on the surface, you are released, but hesitate as the pitiful sound of screams for help rises from the tunnels. Let's go back and try to free some of the prisoners. <laughs> what could go wrong? I have no idea. Oh, cool. You sneak back into the tunnels and release some of the prisoners. On the way out, a guard raises the alarm as you lead the group to the surface and away into the darkness. Bless you for freeing us, one of the prisoners says as they disappear into the forest. I get a blessing. Very nice indeed. When the player chooses from multiple equipment or game cards, the choices available are increased by one. Oh. Not sure if I'm ever actually going to get to take advantage of that, but that's pretty cool. Well, could be cool. Depending on what happens. Feast. Famine. And everything in between. Given how much food I have, let's go ahead and give her all five. The woman takes her food eager eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. You have given us enough food to survive the winter, stranger. She retrieves a sack from behind a bush. This was my husband's, before he died. Please, accept it as a thanks. One gloves guard. Increases my movement speed. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she's seen and heard recently. Oh, cool! 
Okay, that is awesome. Here. Take it. Okay, so that that's unknown. That's the Ratman King or whatever. Um could go to the Holy Forge. Yeah, let's go to the Holy Forge and see what's up with that. That's another new one. A brotherhood of peace in the service of war. Never trust a priest. On a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the shattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels. But the infidels were strong, and one day, one of the raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took our supplies, including all of the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. The King's army never returned after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remain to keep me company. All of the others who survived the attack left long ago. You bid the monk farewell and leave him standing in the silent, empty ruin. Huh. That's very sad, and also very strange, because I never had an opportunity... I never had an opportunity to do anything. Which means I guess I'm just missing some sort of an item or something that I could use. I, I needed something special for the encounter that I was missing. I wonder what it would be. Anyway, let's not go to the Ratman hunting. A permanent discount for those willing to endure the local color. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. No benefit if they were already fully healed. Eh. Reveals stairs encounter upon entering a level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level. That's good. Using a weapon ability causes the player to be fully healed and for the ring to be destroyed at the end of that combat. Using a weapon ability. Does my... My, my current weapon doesn't actually have an ability, does it? So I guess if you had a special weapon, this would be a, a one-time full heal? Could actually be very useful. Oh, but I have to go with this. Yeah, this, not only is it a holy weapon, it's also way better than what I have. From 25 to 32. Prepare for bad times, savor the good. Ha! Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of uh course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. I kind of forgot about the curse thing. I, I still would have bought it anyway, but yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, what does that do? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, might as well get this. I mean, it's so damn cheap. And I don't really care about the crown of hindsight. Yeah, let's go for it. Interesting choice. Alright, got a fat stack of curses. Alright, let's see, what do I have? The player needs to eat twice as much food. Holy shit, that's bad. Whenever the player is healed, they also lose one gold for every two health points healed. Jesus. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm buying food.
work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. I hear nothing but the sounds of morning. She is close. Even I am unsure where this thing springs from. What the hell is this Cthulhu creature? Your path is blocked by an evil mass of tentacles and eyes. Even as you watch, the thing sprouts new limbs, reaching eagerly for you. Eh, let's just scoot on past it. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh. Three out of four things could go wrong. Or not. With a combination of skill, daring, and luck, you weave between the probing tentacles. Oh, that's it. A crucible to heat and purify the flawed metal. You, in this case. The town of Steigel sits upon the only safe crossing of the river Ernst. However, the only adventurers allowed to cross are those who pass through the Crucible. In the Crucible, you'll fight monsters for the entertainment of the townspeople of Stiegel. What will you do? I'm not going to attempt to swim the river, especially in medium armor. Let's do it. Let's entertain them. Choose your opponent wisely, yells a man from the crowd. I'm betting on you. All right, I'm not going to fight the damn mages. Screw that. Let's go for the two of scales. And again, let's hope this isn't some reverse psychology thing. Okay, it's not. Fifteen damage, okay, they do a lot of damage. You survived that round. Now do it again. I feel like I'm going to be punished if I go for the easier option. You know? Let's go for the harder one. Make things a little bit more interesting. Are you entertained? I have all my gold riding on this one, a random voice yells. Don't let me down. The crowd choose your name as you are led to the final arena. Okay, one more. Alright, bring it on. Let's do it. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. 
You're stuck in a corner. Alright, taking a lot of damage here. Damn it. Damn it. Something die, please. Alright, we're making progress. We're good. Ah, oh, damn it. I find this really hard to dodge. I find it easier to dodge than to try to do the reflect. Let's try it. Okay. Let's, let's just let's just do this. Alright, I'm gonna work on my timing. Okay, so the icon, here's how it seems to work. And it's only recently come to me. The icon pops up over them. That's not when you press the reflect button. You press it when it pops up over your head. That just means they're casting and then boom. The icon over them means they're casting. The icon over me means I need to press a button. Okay. After surviving the crucible, you're paraded through the town and allowed to continue upon your adventure. A few random peasants throw coins, saying, You've made me rich, warrior. Four gold game cards. Holy crap. Well, I'm pretty much rich at this point. see, do I want to go back and forth just to heal? I don't have much health. Can I go back to the Dark Dweller without encountering it again? Evil made flesh, but with no craft or substance. Powerful magic, but unfocused. It's taken an awful lot of food. That's weird. I could have sworn it just said minus one food when it's actually minus two. I don't think the curse is actually... I don't think it's... The little counter that pops up is obeying the curse. I am not surprised they have difficulty selling their wares here. Actually, let's take a look at what items they have first. Oh, and there's that wonderful barking dog in the background. Yay! Oh, man, I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Okay, bye, food. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up, dog! I'm sure you're grateful for that. Uh, can I afford to heal? 16? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Peace and quiet. I would much rather hear the sound of a thousand ratmen screaming at me as they try to kill me than a fucking dog barking in the background. Trust a devil or don't? I wouldn't. Greetings, mortal. Hello! Is this the same devil's wager that I got before or is this the continuation encounter? If you can defeat my minions without taking a scratch, I will reward you with gold and magical trinkets. Four of Plague. Eh. Uh. Eh, I'll try it. Excellent! The devil cries with glee. It points at you with a crooked finger, saying, Let's see you prove it. You said you could do it without a scratch, but I'll be generous and leave you a little more than that. 
Oh! You mean I'm going to die? You you left me with eight hit points. I thought, oh, okay, that's not holy shit. Alright, I just need to be careful about where they die because they leave clouds of of nasty stuff. Oh shit. Oh I totally missed dodge that, but thankfully he somehow didn't hit me. Okay. Whew. Wasn't a hard encounter, but doing it with eight hit points is really nerve-wracking. Hmm. You're not dead. That is... unexpected. The devil waves his hand, partially healing you. It then disappears, leaving behind some loot. Draw two, select one to keep. Okay, cool. Ooh! Well, definitely not the mace, but feathered ice. What does that do? During combat, press right bumper to create a blast of freezing ice centered on the adventurer. Okay, so it's an AoE freeze. I don't know if it do does damage, but I'm assuming it definitely freezes opponents. That is quite nice. Yes. Artifacts give you powerful abilities to use in combat. Open the chest, see what it contains. I'm curious. Here we go again. Come on. Come on, here we go again. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Twentieth time is the charm? There's literally only one failure, come on. A choice. Select your desire. Oh, thank God. After a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. Four game cards, excellent. Wealth and health. A recipe for a happy life. I doubt things will end that way, mind you. Okay, that's decent. Not particularly exciting. One piece of each type of equipment, and you're ready to take on the world. Man, look at how many tokens I have in that bowl. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, Traveler? Uh... Depends where it is. I can't exactly go wandering around because I don't have much food. You know, because I'm cursed so heavily with this food thing, I'm going to say no. <sighs> of course. Being, being an adventurer means you must wash your hair regularly. All those blood and guts. got quite a lot of items.
Lose fire damage on hits against undead. Press left a bumper to ignite all undead enemies. <laughs> that sounds so amazing. Hmm. I don't want to do it, though. I, I don't want more curses. Nah. Let's just buy more food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Given how much damage I took last time, do I want to do this? Of course I do. The key thing I need to do this time is just look ahead, because before I did not. So I kind of jumped into, into danger and realized that, oh, I have to do something more. Like, I have to keep moving. And then, I, yeah, great. And then stuff like that happened. Okay, there's traps in the bushes. Of course there's traps in the bushes. Look at my speedy boots. Looks so cool. It's like I'm leaving a trail of lightning everywhere I walk. How did that not hit me? Okay. What the, oh my fucking god. Here's where I really wish I could change the view myself, but unfortunately you can't do that. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. <clears throat> I just used up one out of my eight charges. These got way tougher. They were so easy before, but now, not so much. It's okay, though. I'm still doing pretty good. Yeah, not bad. This is my kind of magic. Death and the transmutation of energy. Killing an enemy launches three magic missiles at any remaining opponents. That's pretty damn good. Or I could... Or I could hold on to the ones that increase my movement speed. Hmm. I do like movement speed. But then again, have I really had any issues moving too slowly? Not really, but I feel like I still want the ones that increase my movement speed. Yeah, I'm not gonna equip it. Oh, this is the one with the uh, weapon ability. Yep, causes you to be fully healed, for the ring to be destroyed, and for the ring to be destroyed at the end of that combat. I don't have a weapon ability, so I don't think this is gonna work. Fire. Equipment with this trait burns with the flame of the ancients, doing extra fire damage. However, lava golems will shrug off fire attacks with ease. I don't think I have to worry about lava golems at the moment. Uh, let's see. Okay, so they both do the same damage, but the difference is the Scorching Zeal also does fire damage on top of being holy. And I can press left bumper to restore the fire and burn nearby enemies. Yeah, the Scorching Zeal just sounds way better. Not to mention the fact that it actually has an ability seems to suggest that it, it'll work with the ring. So it'll actually heal me. Which is kind of weird, because that's an ability that I'm going to want to use all the time, I'm thinking. But maybe I shouldn't, because it'll destroy the ring and heal me when I don't want it to. 
I don't know, that ring is kind of weird. I wish you could just, I wish you could just activate it, like, on its own. Rather than it being, like, procked off of something else. Really? Is that what you're going to do? So many shops. Well, I can sell my old weapon. And which one do I have equipped? I'm not sure. Let's also sell the mage gloves. Look at the workmanship on these gloves. Truly the work of a master craftsman. Oh, you can have multiple rings at the same time, I guess. Okay, cool. I really have an obscene amount of food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Although it is only half of what that number is because of my curse. Here we go. Face death and learn your fate. A powerful skeleton warrior with the ability to summon a demonic pile of skulls that can create a legion of skeletons. Few necromancers possess the skill or courage to attempt the creation of such a creature. Any misstep during the ceremony could result in a hideously painful death. Can summon a demonic pile of skulls that can create a legion of skeletons. Okay, that's not great. Alright, so I'm trying to remember my abilities. I think I can press right bumper for the freeze ability, of which I have seven charges left. And I can press the left bumper to get a full heal. Well... It'll do the ability of my weapon, which should give me a one-time full heal from my... R uh, the ring. I think. And on top of that, of course, it'll actually do the weapon's ability itself, which is to recharge the flame. So, left bumper to recharge flame, right one to freeze. Okay. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Ooh, here we go. Should I go for the queen first, or the ads? I don't know. Okay, there's traps around that. Great. Man, this weapon makes short work of them. Bombs. Oh, damn. Uh, what is this? Can I destroy this? I guess I did something good. Alright, just you and me. Where's your demonic pile of skulls, huh? That's it? This weapon is so good. I didn't even use any of my special abilities. Then it is done. When even a creature as haunting as the Queen of Skulls perishes, we know the game is almost done. The kings are gathering now. Do you see now what I have built? How elegantly all the pieces fit. This was an exceptional run. I got some pretty bad curses, but oh my god, look at all the coins I unlocked. There's the blood auction.
One more round. You have earned it. Let us approach the Mother of Plagues. Make your choices. Let's go ahead and make our deck for next time and then end the episode. Negative Aura. Or Aura. Whenever the player loses a curse, they also lose one random item. Ooh. Well. I guess as long as I don't actually get rid of a curse, that's fine. Because that could be extremely bad. If you only have one weapon or one shield, and you just suddenly lose it. I mean, I don't actually know what happens if you lose your only weapon. I'm assuming they give you... Well, I don't think you can fist fight, so I'm assuming they give you just, like, a, a crappy axe or whatever your starting weapon was. Queen of the Vermin. Under the ground, the filthy rat kind caught her favor. Murder each other with leprous teeth for the honor of siring her children. Uh, wait a minute. So what kind of a creature am I fighting? I can't go back? Oh. Apparently I can't see. I didn't really pay attention to who it was. Wasn't it like the Queen of Plague or something? So I'm assuming that's a rat, which means my holy weapons are going to be useless. In that case, let's get rid of Undead Bane. And that. Let's throw in some of the new stuff. I suppose the Huge Hammer would be good. Also the Frost Fang, just because it can freeze. Uh, but let's throw in the Huge Hammer. Any other new stuff? Armor of Cold. Oh yeah, Fate's Folly. Oh, that, that's actually an item? It's a, it's a helmet. A demon helmet. Also, am I crazy, or does this Great Helm of Reinforcement look kind of like the Predator face? It really, really does to me. Okay, what do I not want? I don't think I want the healer's ring, so let's dump that. The ring of justice, it sounds nice, but it's weird, and I don't really... I, I don't know, it's weird. I'm going to toss it. I don't have many rings in here, but that's fine. I do kind of have a ridiculous amount of helmets. Maybe even weapons, too. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? I start with medium armor, so I might as well dump the medium armor, right? Yeah. Let's toss an arrow cutter, see what that does. Let's toss out any more that I've finished, which should be quite a few, given what happened. Yep, Devil's Wager, Local Peasant, Crucible. Lizard Dome. I think I want to keep that one, because that was very nice. Stranger in Shadows. That's finished. Let's dump that. Alright, definitely Blood Auction. I'm really curious where that storyline's going to go. Other than that, I guess I'll just take the first ones that come up. There we go. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will attempt to take on the Queen of Plague.